welcome to lesson four, La Lección Cuatro. Seeing your way into speaking Spanish. What we're going to do today is uh, just a little short review. From lesson one, we had the alphabet, and we're going to be doing the syllables today. What you always think about word stress, we talked about that in lesson three. Please review that and get that down, okay? So we will have vowels, N or an S. If a word ends in a vowel, N or an S, you will stress the next to the last syllable. If a word ends in a consonant, other than that N or an S, you're going to stress the very last syllable. If the word doesn't use either one of the rules, one or two, we're going to use accent marks on that word. And don't forget to review your definite articles that we had in lesson two. We have four. The definite article in English is the, but in Spanish, we have a singular masculine, el, a plural masculine, los, a feminine singular, la, and a feminine plural, las. In definite articles, we did in lesson three, un, which is a, singular masculine, unos, some, plural masculine, una, singular feminine, unas, plural feminine. And we had numbers also, one through 12. What we're going to do, we're going to pull this back and go to the vowels, the letters of the alphabet, what we have. Remember the A, E, E, O, O. We're going to talk about separating, dividing the words into syllables. If we would take the ba, and you can do anything you want to. Remember, if I do two syllable words, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, that's what most of the Spanish words are like. But then, if it's a consonant and a vowel, the stress will be on the first syllable because there are only two syllables, remember? The second to the last syllable will receive the stress. Let's look at ba. What do we say? Ba ko. Now I don't know whether these words are real, all of them or not. Okay, but this is the way you would pronounce them. And I hope I'm not saying anything derogatory. Okay, so this is the way we would pronounce those words. We would have a what about? We might have da di, a di fe. Fe, he. We're gonna keep the stress on the first syllable. Ka, ho. Go, mi. Mi, mo. So stress is the highest point of the word, the accented part of the word. Po, hu. Kuo, ka. All right, so that's an idea. Now we're gonna go over here to this board and we're gonna talk about this. This is lesson four. We have plenty of words. All of these words are from the vocabulary song on page five in your book and it will be four on your CD, okay? And it's 15, the soundtrack. So let's look at some. These are two syllable words. Remember, if a word has only two syllables, ending in a vowel, N or an S, we will stress the second to the last syllable. Okay, vowel, N or an S. These will all be vowels. I did that on purpose. Two syllables. Ka, sa. Sala, mesa, gato, perro, calle. Remember the double L? It's a Y sound. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> I left out a letter. We won't even talk about it. Suelo. 
disco, horno, madre, padre, queso, jugo, leche, pluma, tinta, tiza, clase, fruta, radio, frase, just in case you couldn't see that too well. Okay, those are two syllable words. And remember I said anytime you want to talk about your nouns, you want to always keep your article with it. Keep your articles with it, okay? La casa. Now, I didn't put the articles here, but these are all nouns. And they are all in your book. And the articles are definitely with them in the book. So you know whether or not they are masculine or feminine. Okay, now here are three syllable, uh, two syllable words that end in a consonant. Now remember we said if a word ends in a consonant other than an N, R, and S, the last syllable will receive the stress. So we only have two syllable words here and it ends in a consonant other than N or an S. Ciudad, papel, mujer. And if you need to move your shoulder or anything or jump up to get that, have at it, okay? Three syllable words in and in a consonant. Director, borrador, profesor, televisor is a four syllable word, okay? Here's the three syllable here, all ending in vowels. Naranja. And now remember, the book is bilingual, so it will tell you what these words are on the right-hand side. Manzana, muchacho, or muchacha. Alumno, or alumna. Pupitre, dinero. More or less that anytime we have a vowel, we're just getting ready to make another syllable. See, you have D, B, H, O, I, and U vowels, so we have three syllables. P, S, R, Q, D, R, N, O, S, T, U, F, A, C, S, N, A, S, N, A. Ventana, botella, okay, hermano o hermana, palabra, necesario. Now, we talked about diphthongs because you and I are weak vowels. A, E, and O are strong vowels. You and I are weak, okay? So therefore, we're going to have to keep the I with the O because it needs someone to help it. It needs something, okay? So diccionario, mantequilla, escritorio, edificio, enciclopedia, supermercado. Now, the one that needs accent. Without the accent, it would be Café, but that's not the way you pronounce it. It's café. Jamón. It ends in an S. It would have been jamón. But it's so if that we don't pronounce it that way. Jamón. Okay. Salón. Ladrón. Avión. Autobús. Autobús. Policía. We want to say policía, but that's not the way we're going to pronounce it. It has an accent mark. Policía, bolígrafo, lámpara, periódico, lección, niño. Now, anytime you have an ñ, it's going to be an N and a Y in this ñ. The N will go with the first syllable, and the 
Y, N, and Y will go with the last syllable. So you have Ning Yo, Bing Ya, Bing Ya Da. N equals an N and a Y. Okay? Now that's going to be all that we're going to do for today. Your assignment will be um, begin memorizing the first 24 words in your vocabulary which is going to be on page 5 in your book. And I suggest that you begin with the first two lines, which will give you six words the first day. Now, you want to write those words, and you want to say them aloud at least five times. Write them at least five times. As you write them, say them. And that way you will be able to feel the connection it's going to get with the brain and will help you remember them better. The next day, I just suggest you add one line, which is just three words. And the next day, and remember now, if it takes you three months or two years to do this lesson for, it's up to you. All right, because you're in the confines of your own home. And you might say, well, my goodness, I don't have anything on which to write. Oh, look. You got any paper bags? Paper bags? How about that? You have junk mail? Oh, we have a lot. An old calendar. Obsolete, you don't need that anymore. Newspaper, mm -hmm. paper plate, paper towels, plenty of those, plenty. You're in the confines of your own home, it doesn't make any difference, so you can use that, okay? And just have fun, okay? If this has been a blessing to you and you, and you like it, uh, click your like on my page and also subscribe. Que Dios les bendiga a ustedes ricamente y hasta la próxima vez. May God bless you richly and until the next time. Adios.